Hi guys! Try to imagine having the ability to access your cameras from anywhere, anytime, whether it's your home, office, or business. Remote viewing lets you stay connected and in control. In today's video, I'm going to help you experience the power of remote viewing and take control of your security. So don't let technology issues hold you back. You can visit our solution page here to access expert assistance and find answers to your technical challenges. Remote viewing in the context of civilians refers to the ability to access and monitor video feeds or other data from a remote location using technology such as internet or specialized software. It allows authorized users to view live or recorded footage from civilian cameras or other monitoring devices without physically being present at the location. And the advantages of remote viewing include the ability to access and monitor remote or hazardous location, cost effectiveness, and flexibility in deploying civilian resources. And remote viewing relies on several components to function effectively. First, civilian cameras play a central role in capturing video footage at the monitor location. These cameras come in various types and offer different features, ensuring comprehensive coverage of the area under civilian. Next, network connectivity as it facilitates the transmission of data from the camera to central server or cloud platform, a stable internet connection enabling users to view live or recorded video feed from anywhere. Lastly, viewing devices such as tablets, smartphones, laptops, and computers serve as the means for authorized users to access the remote viewing system and interact with civilian data. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. Today I'm going to build a small civilian system and show you how to remote viewing the video footage on a smartphone and a computer. But first, let's check out what we have here. First, we'll need a router here to provide internet. And we're going to connect it to an NVR. NVR stands for a network video recorder. It is using to monitor and record video footage and also manage the cameras at the edge. And this one here has up to 32 channels. We're going to connect it to the 16 port PoE Manage switch. And then we have two cameras at the edge. This one up here is the 5 megapixel PoE Plus PDZ camera. It can safeguard wide coverage areas and catch details with extremely clear image when needed. With 5 megapixel high resolution and 30 times optical zoom capabilities, also equipped with human detection and 200 meters adaptive IR illuminators, allows you to generate 24 7 black or white clear images at long distance under challenging condition. And this one down here is the 8 MP. PoEIR bullet camera with 5 to 50 millimeters very focal length. Now it can provide crystal clear videos in 8 megapixels and ensuring every detail is visible. 5 to 50 millimeters very focal length allows you to adjust the focal length manually, giving flexibility to zoom in and out as needed. It is also IP66 waterproof rated, which is ideal for outdoor civilian. So without saying, we're going to do the connection first. So first I'm going to connect our router here with the NVR using a short patch cord. And then using another Ethernet cable to connect our router to the switch. Next, I'm going to use two Ethernet cables here for our two security cameras at the edge. Let's come over here and connect them all together using PoE technology to provide power and data at the same time. Let's plug it in here. So now they're getting power and data using the single only Ethernet cable. 
I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And the whole connection is pretty simple and easy. Now I'm going to show you how to remote viewing on your smartphone. It's actually very easy. Because the cameras are already connected to the, to the internet, all you need to do is use a mouse to point up here and you'll see a QR code. You just have to open up your smartphone apps and then scan the QR code in order to connect them together. And there's a lot of application that you can use. Make sure you use the one that is compatible with your cameras. And for today, I'm going to use this one. The application often asks you to register. So make sure you use a strong password for safety and security use. Today, I'm just going to demonstrate. So I'm going to use the guest login. I'm going to delete it first and then I'm going to show you how to connect it. Just simply open up the scan button here and scan the QR code. Now you can see it's already added successfully. We have two cameras connected. Let's look at the first one. This is the first camera. You can choose the channel. If you have four cameras, you can watch all four video footage at the same time. You can also record it, take a picture. There's a lot of function. Now let's move on to the second camera. The second camera is the PDZ camera. Allows you to move around and zoom in and out. Let's try to zoom in. As you can see, now we, we're zooming in and we can also move it around because it can pan, tilt, and zoom. So it's very easy, right? And now you can control your camera anywhere and anytime. So now we're in front of Natisha's computer and then let's use her computer to show you how to remote viewing the video footage on the computer. First, we are going to open up a software called VMS and it's already open. Under VMS, we're going to open Device Manager. And we're going to manually add our device. So for the device name, let's type in the serial number that I already copy and paste. The serial number and choose Cloud ID because we are remotely viewing the <coughs> video footage. And for the Cloud ID name, let's type in the serial number of your NVR as well the username and the password of your network. So now let's wait for them to connect. So as you can see, it's already connected and it's connecting to two camera. Let's go back home under monitor. Now we have all the cameras over here and we have two and just right click it and choose extra stream. The reason why we have to choose extra stream is because we are remotely viewing the video footage. If your camera and the MVR is directly connected to the computer, then you can choose mainstream. Next, let's choose extra stream for the other camera. So now we have both camera on our computer and you can fill it on your computer remotely. So the whole connection is done. Additionally, addressing potential security risk associated with remote viewing is of utmost importance to safeguard sensitive information and protect against unauthorized assets. And one of the primary security measures involves implementing robust encryption protocols. By encrypting the data, information becomes indecipherable to anyone attempting to intercept it without the proper keys. And this ensures that even the data is intercepted during transmission, it remains secure and protected. And thank you very much for watching us. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, and we appreciate it for your support.